So here is our on-farm hatchery that my dad and lot, several of his friends started about 45 years ago. And they worked in cooperation with a lot of local volunteers and Department of Fisheries and Oceans and lots of local volunteer groups. So in this tank are, it looks like, um, cohos that are about eight months old from last year, almost a year old since they came back. This tank is the same, this is coho salmon, if you can, this one's a little clearer, you can actually see the fish inside. So, when my um, father and his friends started this project um, 45 years ago, the returning salmon to Little River were endangered from lots of things that had happened in the watershed, urban development, um, military base development, um, BC ferries put a ferry dock in. A lot of things had impacted the, the return of salmon, so they got together and learnt how to enhance the salmon, take the eggs, raise them in the stream, care for them long enough before they were released to the stream. And then over the last 45 years, with um, assistance of funding from provincial and federal and local people and ourselves, the volunteers of the Little River Enhancement Society and Beaver Meadows have basically restored the habitat of Little River. So every year we keep a few um, broodstock and young salmon here as sort of a safety valve in case something happened to the salmon in the river. Um, and also it, it, it's um, a way for people to learn about how salmon relate to the land as well as the ocean, um, how they relate to farming activities, and how important it is that the way we practice our grasslands and grazing can also support and protect the salmon. And a lot of agriculture damages salmon here on the west coast of British Columbia. And we've learned how to work together and, and how salmon and farming can both benefit. Uh, for example, if we go back out in the field here, I'll show you how we've learned to manage the water cycle that benefits both agriculture and the fisheries resource. So this is um, probably at times putting several hundred thousand salmon a year into Little River. Um, some numbers from DFO indicate that this little on-farm project has produced um, many millions of dollars of salmon and chum and cutthroat for the sport fish industry. And it's something that, if given um, a bit of support and incentive, pretty well any farmer on a stream could do. Now there's no incentive for a farmer to protect biodiversity. Um, in most instances, farmers and Department of Fisheries and Oceans find themselves in adversarial positions rather than helping each other. And this is an example that could easily spread over thousands of farms and bring back a lot of our streams to life as we face a lot of this climate impacting our water resources. So, again, um, it's taken us a few years to learn how to do this. We've had to change some of our farming practices, but we found it was to our benefit to change. And definitely the people of the Comox Valley and the Salish Sea have benefited from farming and uh, fisheries cooperating together here on Beaver Meadows.